Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have quite a few new things to go and talk about when it does come to brand new stock, store locations getting stock, and as well some confirmed stuff all going on all throughout today. <laughs> we do have a little bit of a like, sore throat too, so don't mind me on that one, but we do actually have quite a few different things. We have a few bundles. We got some good bundle information. We have other location. We have other stock. We have other movement. We have a lot of other various things too as well. All being chimed on. And so we're going to watch that as closely as we can. I'm going to chill on that as well. And hopefully a lot of you guys will get your consoles all throughout this weekend. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below. We have the Target links down below. And the Twitter and Twitch stream as I mentioned. And let's go and dive into the video. So, I think the very first and foremost biggest thing to kind of go and cover is that we do have a little bit more continuous GameStop news. So, as you guys may or may not know, we did have a confirmed GameStop drop yesterday. But now this is technically a part two now that is open up to pretty much everyone out there. So, right now the PlayStation 5 bundles will be in stores as of 9-9, which was yesterday. But as you guys can go and read... Pro members get early access to PS5 bundles on 9.9. Quantities will be limited, and then bundles will be available for everyone on 9.10. So, as you guys probably know, hopefully after all these years, uh, today is actually 9.10 right now. So, from what we kind of saw, there was a lot of stock that was still available. Obviously, because we still have other options, you know, such as like the Walmart targets, all that stuff. Uh, as well, keep on checking the target links and stuff. But when it comes to stock with it, it did seem like it was going and sitting for a decent amount of time. So, as you guys can even tell by the GameStop website, it does look like it is pretty much almost every single store imaginable. Like, this is this is a lot of stock all floating around literally everywhere. And we did keep on seeing stuff in, like, uh, Hawaii and even Alaska. So, I would go and say if you guys really want to, you probably could go almost anywhere. Especially if you guys are in, like, a like a bigger city or bigger area, and y'all can probably go and find some good stock. Oh, don't forget, though, these are bundles, which do kind of stink, like we're not the biggest fan of bundles, uh, but at least we do know this is ongoing as of today. We did go and see some of the rundowns, too, thankfully, with what the bundles actually are, uh, and this is what I have had a chance to see. So basically, we've had someone saying there is even literally no line in my local GameStop, but unfortunately, they only had the bundle. Still went with it, though. LOL. And I'd be sad. So at least what they show on here, and I do think, because I did hear a few other folks also mention this, this does seem like what the bundle should be. Looks like it's the PlayStation 5. You're seeing the normal disc edition there. The controller, and you usually, I do believe, have a chance to check out different color options. That's an extra, like, 70 bucks. And it looks like they have the Madden 23. So just in case, I'd probably assume it's around, like, a 6 20 to 6 40 50 ish depending on your state because as you know uh, different states have different state tax and all of that so i mean you can see some of the comments too as well with you madden some other folks are saying can you buy this and return the controller we have seen it depends on the stores typically i think you just go to one store and then travel to a different store in case you guys wanted to uh mainly like i think that's like the usual route that people have been taking and doing so uh sometimes they'll let you return games sometimes if you have like a like a very hardcore store they don't let you return stuff because they're like rude and weird i mean like it depends depends on the vibe all of that uh, but at the end of the day, they are available. They should be open for everyone. But you're good to go. Another comment too that said I paid six twenty one for mine because I had a warranty with it. But total was five seventy eight originally bundle. I got the seventy dollar PSN one card and extra controller, which is just as you guys are curious on what the bundles might be. So it does seem like the bundles actually are slightly better. Uh, mainly because we have seen some kind of mediocre bundles, at least in my opinion. Uh, some of the GameStop ones were like $800 since <laughs> it times was a lot. But it does kind of seem like this price point does seem and does look a little bit nicer too. So in case you guys do want to go in and check that on stuff as well. Uh, so you guys can rot that type on up. So this should be all good. Should be nationwide. Should have a lot of stock availability. And if you guys do get one, send me a tweet. I actually saw a few tweets the past few days of people getting their stock, which is all around very, very nice to go and see. So I love seeing all that stuff in the first place. Now as well, we also did go and see a few other things too as well when it comes to all the other locations. So one big thing though I do want to make a comment to note, uh, we discussed this the past like three days or so. We have been seeing a lot of Best Buy stock showing up. 
So this means more for the in-store locations and just general walking around vibes in case you guys do want to check that out. But it does seem like Best Buy has been getting digital consoles, disc edition consoles, uh, the bundles and all of that. We have been seeing just people getting the hookup. So if you guys either want to call your local stores, check your local stores, go for the walk-ins or casual stock, feel free to. I've also had a few other folks too as well where like people are like, hey, just a heads up, my local Best Buy had a uh, system I just scored. Standard disk drive console, not a bundle. And they literally just said as well, I just called the walk on in. I checked GameStop first, and all they had was a $750 bundle, which is Madden and a controller too as well. Uh, then Walmart didn't have anything. They stopped a guy in Best Buy, and he called over the radio. They came back and said to send me to customer service. One said, they said that they pretty much was pretty much set. So all around cool, we have been seeing uh, Best Buy stock. We also have been seeing a good amount of Target stock, just kind of depending on the area, location, and all of that. We have been seeing good vibes with it. So, if you guys do want to go and check out and see any stock or any stock movements, feel free to, in case you guys would like. Uh, when it does come with that, too, we just if you guys want to check the links down below. But we have been having employees confirming, seeing it, and all of that. We did also have an Amazon stuff going on, too, in case you guys missed that as well. We didn't touch on that yesterday. So if you guys do want to check your Amazon for emails, spam, normal inbox, promotion tabs, or whatever you guys would like to, I think we did go make sure to mention that before on prior dates when it comes to that, which is always very nice to go and see. We have been seeing some pretty good movements as well. Now, uh, I did have my tabs going close on me, but I do want to do a quick double check because I do believe all of our other big boy stock locations we've been watching for have still been doing decently over here. Uh, as I'm trying to find the Walmart one, though, I'm actually not, funny enough, actually seeing the Walmart console. So I'm actually kind of curious to see if we finally had a big sellout for it. I'm um, on the website right now, just kind of scrolling through over here. Uh, I had everything up, like, earlier on the day, but it doesn't actually seem like we're seeing any good stuff with this. Uh, before, just maybe pop up over here and, like, show up in these bundles. But as of right this second, it does actually seem like maybe Walmart is actually sold out. So be on the lookout for if you guys want to casually check and see so you guys totally can if you guys want to. Although, thankfully, we have been seeing other stores and locations having stock available, which is kind of nice to see. But just going through the Walmart uh, website, it doesn't seem like there's actually a little stock movement all around over here. So very intriguing to see. Although, if you guys do want to go and get uh, just check online either way, uh, if you guys go and Google the PlayStation Direct, then you guys should go and have a page that looks like this, where it does have the limited PS5 consoles are now available. Shop PS5 consoles, accessories, and games. And if, as always, if you guys ever want to check the sign-in to buys, you guys can. Uh, that does go and show the stock and have the stock availability with that. If you guys would like to go and check that on out. So that is at the $549.99 price point. The normal disc editions are sold out, though, sadly, and there's no digitals as well. But if you guys want to go and check on this stuff, it does seem like it's live, like I mentioned. Unless you guys want to just double-check and do a little bit more of a deeper dive than I did, I do think the PlayStations are maybe finally sold out on Walmart. Though we had like a five-day notice for that. Now, as a reminder, we have still been seeing Walmart stores also having stock available, just depending on where you're at where you go and if your store is lucky or not, but we have been seeing some decent amount of stock floating around with there, which is still nice to see. And kind of surprised though that they kind of did a, like almost like a double whammy drop of both in stores as well as also available online. But like I said, at least we have had some good movement. We have had some good stock and life's going on pretty good for Walmart. And that was a reminder for weekends too. We have also been seeing the Fred Myers, Kroger's and Smith store locations all having stock available. So if you guys do want to check out any of those locations or check out any stock with that or check on the app, calling your stores or just if you guys are getting groceries or whatever, feel free to. If you guys also want to check out the BJ's Wholesalers, we still have been seeing stock sporadically showing up in all those areas. Online, not so much. And online was very quiet, although they have done weekend restocks before, so be on the lookout for that in case you guys would like. We do also have the uh, new egg for their online shuffles or online listings. Costco for maybe potential in-store availabilities, as we're still watching for stock with them and looking over there. We also have the Sam's Club, too, as well, as we're waiting for all of that stock, too, on top of that. Uh, maybe potential onlines, although, though, as you guys know, the weekends are usually a bit more on the chiller side. And on top of that, too, all the Verizons, PC Richards, uh, Staples, and all the other military onlines, and Exchange Depots, and all of that available, potentially online. So we're looking for all that stuff. 
So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below, Target links down below, and the Twitter and Twitch stream as we mentioned. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.